Hello and welcome to you in this tutorial, I am Ismail. In this video, I will explain how we can create a close-up snow scene. This tutorial is made by 3 ds Max 2020 using VRA 5 and Forest Pack 6.3. First, we will create the scene setup. We need to create a plan 2500 by 2500 and make the segments 1000. Then from modifier list choose this place and insert this image to bitmap and change the strength to something between 40 to 50. And to add more details from the modifier list choose noise and change value to this. After that change the color to white. And this is the environment light and camera settings. The difference between these two cameras, just the F number. Also, this is the sun settings. And finally, this is the environment setting. Now, to create a realistic snow, we need to look at the reference. As you see, in this picture, you can recognize the snow, it's small particles, and if we zoom in it, we will see directly the ice crystals. So, this is the base of snow. Now, we will create ice crystals. For that, we need to reference shape. So, create a plane 35 by 35. And from the material editor, create a V-ray mat. Then added this image as a diffuse map and you can find it from the link in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to uncheck use real world scale. And make sure show shaded material in a viewport. After that, from modify choose UVW map, then uncheck real world map size and that's it. Now, from shapes create a line around this shape. Okay, after we finish, delete the plane. Then from the modifier list, choose shell. And change the outer amount to 0.6. Then convert it to editable body. After that, create a copy. And from the modifier list, choose FFD box. And change the set number of 0.6. Change the scale of the inner point to make a difference between these two shapes. Now we need to create 9 randomly crystals. So follow my step to do that.
After we finish, rename it and fix the gizmo position. And to make it more realistic, added noise to give it some variation. Okay, it's still good now. Now we will scatter these crystals by forest pack. From geometry choose i2 softwares. Then forest probe. After that from modify add these shapes. And change probability. And this is the probability of each one. Okay, now from distribution change the image to full. And change the unit to 150. Also make the threshold 1 and max density 20. After that, to optimizing the scatter, Check limited to visibility on and look at target on. Also change the minimum and maximum to distance fall off. And to make a variation of scattering from a transform, enable translation, rotation and scale. This will make it more realistic. And that's it. Now to create the material, open the material editor and choose very fast triple S2. To create a snow material, change subsurface color to this and change scatter color to Y. Also, make sure to change the scatter radius to 4, phase function to 0.7 and the specular amount to 0. And to understand how it's worked, this is example and demonstrate the effect of the relation between the scatter color and the subsurface color parameter. Note how changing the subsurface color changes the overall appearance of the material, whereas changing the scatter color only modifies the internal scattering component. Also, this example shows the effect of the scatter radius parameter. Note how increasing them allowed the inside scatter coefficient color to show up more and leads to a softer look. This example shows the effect of the phase function parameter. This parameter can be likened to the difference between diffuse reflection and glossy reflection on a surface. However, it's control the reflectance and the transmittance of a volume. This effect is quite subtle and mainly related to the single scattering component of the material. Also, make sure to change the specular amount to zero. Now select all geometries and connect it with this material. And this is the render test setting. Now let's see the result. Okay, it's the good. Now let's see the other camera. Okay, it's the good. 
Finally, this is the final render setting. Thanks for watching and hope this video useful for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not. See you soon. Thank you.